sky. Look modded. Probably for the high altitude. Get this data disk back to Z. already tore through here.
a big firefight up ahead. We'll manage. Good luck. Looks like I've got a raider on my tail. Gonna shake him. Much better. their match. Dagon's nowhere to be seen. Well, we got a good idea where he's headed. Meet you at the top. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
found the compass. We gotta hurry. Agreed. Circling back. See you soon. There's our man. a few bedlam flies to make a landing. No problem. We got a whole swarm of them up ahead. <laughs> you ready for this, brother? Let's get that compass. Imps are just about cleaned out of here, huh? They underestimated the bedlam raiders. Dagon may be delusional, but he's got an army that believes in him. They think he's taking them to Tantalor. My dead body. Somebody goes up. Man, will you look at this place? Incredible. Just incredible. Just look at this tech. You know, my daughter loves gadgets. Yeah. Her favorite is this black market scanner I took off a HUD enforcer. What a mess of a father I've been. Nobody's perfect. You're fighting to give her a better life. You're right. All of them. Hope we're not too late. Dagon gets off planet with the compass. He flies out of here and we never see him again. Pick up the pace. Make sure that doesn't happen. Where are all the raiders? I don't like the look of this. We're nearly at the top. No going back now. I need to focus. Latero sure knows how to cook, I'll give him that. You sure you want to push that button? Do we have a choice? All right, let's do this. One for you, one for me. The Jedi. 
Toys, huh? <laughs> Those Republic scientists had it good. Please. 
Observatory is up ahead. Right behind the army of Bedlam droids. Centauri had only stood with me, we could have convinced the Council that Tanilor was worth the sacrifice. Now she's gone. Ravis is gone. The Order is gone, and I am free! You're not free, Dagon. You're alone. Why are you here when your true enemy is out there? How could you let the galaxy fall to this unworthy machine of an empire? You think yourself a survivor, but you are a failure! They haven't beaten us. Not yet. Now who is blinded by the past? Within the abyss, the empire cannot reach us. I will forge these raiders into an elite army led by disciples trained in the force at my temple. Then when the time is right, I will strike out and cleanse this galaxy with fire. <laughs> We've already got an emperor. Give us the compass. And why would I do that? Because I'm a father who's running out of options. And you're standing in the way of a better life for my little girl. You hand it over, or I will put you down. What small dreams you cling to. Enough! Tunnel or beckons. Ah! You will perish. I won't miss. I'm just superior. Right here, bud. Your 
are still chained by the past. If we are The order was too weak to do, and for that she betrayed me! to know that you're about to die. That your life meant nothing. Don't resist. You can't hide from me. Ah, yes. I feel it. Loss, suffering, shame, anger. There's immense power in such emotions, but you were too weak. And now it's too late.
shuttles are leaving. I will not return. You're lost. You've strayed from the path. And you are no Jedi. Kind of force hallucination, fueled by fear. I use his against him. Not so scary now. Dagon was right. <laughs> you sure you're not still, uh, you know? <clears throat> Think about it. Tantalor's a fortress. We should use it for the hidden path. Gather allies, train. They'd never see us coming. I don't know, that seems risky. Everything is at risk so long as the Empire's around. Besides, you don't want Kata spending her whole life in hiding, do you? If she's safe, Cal? Then yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I understand that. But someday, someone's gonna have to face the Empire. Why not us? Bet Cordova can fix this up. Let's head back to Jeddah. Sure. I'm gonna take a look around first. See if I can find a manual for that thing or something. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Hey, buddy. You saved my neck. Again. Thanks. You go ahead, Cal. I'm sure the crew can't wait to hear the news. Meet you back at the Vantas.
Got a scan? Oh, you got the compass, yeah? Well, guess that's it. Next stop, Jetta, and then, you know... <laughs> the rhymes with Manilor. You sure you're ready to leave Pylunes behind? Well, I gotta admit, it's in good hands. And this ain't a one-way trip. We can still visit, right? Just have to be careful. Sure, sure. I was more of a risk-taker when I was younger. These days, I just want a place to call home. Yeah? When we were fighting Dagon, those hallucinations, what were they for you? My friends, suffering because they followed me. And I couldn't do anything to stop it. I saw Kata in her room, stormtroopers coming for her, breaking down the door. But you know what? That's not gonna happen. Yeah. Thanks for being there and having my back. No. Thank you, brother. We're closer than ever to giving the people we love real safety. Just enjoying this place while I can. I may not see it for a while. That giant piazza you sweet talk reminds me of a time when I was out on a mountain hike with my older brother. We came across the Tibidi. Ever seen one? Yeah, those are enormous. <laughs> no kidding. Beautiful specimen. Was gonna leave well enough alone. Then... All of a sudden, the Tibbity snatches my brother and takes flight. I scramble up a cliffside. We didn't want to hurt the Tibbity, mind you, but I had to save my brother. Threw my spear, pierced the bee straight through. That must have been quite the throw. How'd you manage it? And what choice did I have? My brother fell, got a few scrapes. He was lucky. Wish I could have talked that Tibbity down. But there are some fights you just can't avoid. Talk soon. All right, you old fat. I'm in. <laughs> There's the bonehead I know. Come back later, yeah? Kestis putting the kibosh on the Raiders? Look at you! I doubt they're gone. Just a little bruised. Still, I'm impressed. Without Alita, they're gonna lose a lot of oomph. Yeah? There's an open spot at the top of the Raider ladder. You interested? No, oh, thanks. Too much heat. But you're right. If I had to guess, something big and mean is gonna swallow up those raiders. Don't like the sound of that. I didn't think you would. Listen up, pal. Self and Duke and his flyboys were spotted buzzing above the Kobo Observatory. They're gonna rain all sorts of blasts of fire and grenades on your parade, so keep your wits about you. We'll take him down. Now you start to sound like a real pro, Cal. This is the most fun I've had since landing on this rock. So you're a fortune teller? Not exactly. Though prospectors do ask me to read the planet's fortune from time to time. They want you to tell them where to mine, right? Exactly. But my gift is not so precise as to provide specific locations. What I see, I share. It is up to them to interpret my visions as they see fit.
I must be alone now. What's your academy like? Oh, amazing. Every building is partially suspended with repulsors. The campus looks like it's floating over the ground. It's magical. It sounds like a hard place to leave behind. It was, but things were changing. Looking down, you used to see nothing but nature. The ground is covered in ferrocrete now. All part of an Imperial control zone. Hey there. Hey. Do you ever miss the glory days, Cal? Cut and thrust, the rough and tumble. It sounds like every day. Not that it's glorious. Well, I certainly had some glorious years. I'm sure I never told you about the incident over at Munilinst. I don't think you did. I was personally escorting a shipment of... Let's call it a sensitive luxury product. Unfortunately, we were costed by a customs longship. The fence had failed to update our transponder codes and our vessel was marked. Well, Bush goes to shove and we were boarded. I've got three customs officers waving blasters under my nose, so what do I do? I throw on the waterworks. Oh, cow, you cannot imagine. I'm swearing up and down about everything from past marriages to lower back pain. Almost worked, too. But one pesky officer decided to kick open a shipping container full of the slightly incriminating powder. Guess the jig was up. Oh, Cal. Cal, Cal. You are looking at a professional. I told them that they were looking at the ashes of a thousand ritually cremated Sereno war heroes. And by the stars, they bought it. The inspectors actually bought it. That, Cal, is why I'm here instead of rotting in a Munilinst work camp. Why, you look at Hale and Hardy Moran. Warms my circuits. Pity I was going for sullen and sour. News this good? It's infectious. The Raiders sent packing, balloons full of fresh patronage. Barkeep, you're a clear-minded droid. This will last. Nothing lasts forever, Big Wheel. That goes for the good and the bad. Then I suppose I'll hold out hope for Turgle's extradition. That's a twisted sense of humor you got, but I like it. A sense of humor is just like a business enterprise. It has to adapt to its environment.
down. Hey, Hunter. The Hexian's bloodhound, Vaislin Martz, has been sniffing around for you on the mountain. This guy's moving in with his stealth squad, so make sure not to get blindsided. Copy that. Watch my back, BD. Huh. Kind of starting to like that little droid. Kind of.
That's one less tail to worry about. things were changing at the Academy before you left. It started when the Empire began dumping credits into our projects. Unlimited budget to fund our research. Great, right? But there were strings attached. Yes. We came under constant pressure from Imperial censors to conform to their propaganda. Anyone who did not play along was pushed out in favor of stooges whose work would never stand up under peer review. No Moff or Governor wants to publish views that question Imperial dominance. I mean, I understand. The censors have their own careers to think of. It's okay, Toa. You don't have to defend a corrupt system. No, I guess not. Another customer for you, pretty boy. What you got, Cage? Word it is, you've got a secret admirer on Jeddah. Big droid called U-Haul. Looking to replace the little guy? Not a chance. Anyway, Yu Hong's not a touchy feely type, more of a touchy murdery type. Hmm. Tempting. Done. Wanted to get that off my hands. Later. There aren't any Zabrak hanging out in the outpost, right? Not that I've seen. Oh, thank goodness. Thought I was gonna have to book it for a second there. Are there people out to hurt you? Only always. But I owe these Zabrak quite a few credits for a... an incident I was involved in. You get into a lot of trouble, don't you? The less you know, the better. Trust me. I can always run and start a new life. No, Turgle. Not again. A bartender's job is never done. Cordova can fix that compass. Where to next, PD? Got it, it is. We think Cordova can repair that compass. Oh, I bet credits he can. You have credits to bet? What's that supposed to mean? Tantalor. We're so close now. I'm excited to see Tantalor. Oh, me too. But just don't go starting a witch school or something. And definitely don't invite those creepy sisters of yours. But they're here now, Grease. All around you. I just sensed something, Grease. Did you feel that? Are you kidding me? This is your captain speaking, inviting you to grab some seat so we can lay it.
I'll be in later. I just gotta run another diagnostic on the Mantis. Ugh, it'd be a shame if we blow another gyro and get stuck in the abyss. Well, come on, why'd you have to say that? You jinxed us. Oh, this is just great. You think Mara's got any magic tricks that'll ward off bad luck? Always something to do, huh? Bit busy, Cal. How did you meet Dagon Gera? I discovered him in a Bacta tank on Kobo. He asked me to release him. So you did? I didn't know what he'd become. Of course not. How could you? From what Cordova told us, Dagon could be trouble. But we know how to handle Jedi. Don't we, BD? Cal? Cordova. Dagangara had the last compass, but it's damaged. He didn't exactly hand it over. This can be repaired. I'll begin at once. BD. Let's give Master Cordova some time to concentrate. I know a place with a view. Good. You know, it's kind of heavy, if anybody wanted to give me a hand. Of course, Green. Nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, ha ha, very funny. Oh. Okay, here you go, round two. What do you think? Strong. It's very sweet. You'll get used to it. <clears throat> you see her. 
Why don't you join us on Tantalor? There's no better home for the Archive or the Hidden Path. Look, whatever the future holds, we can face it together. Yes. It's a new path for all of us. Cal, Master T'Pol would be proud of the Jedi you'd become. I had a good teacher. Everyone, the hidden path has found a new home. To Tantalor. To Tantalor. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, Seer. Does that mean you're coming? Yes, Grease. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to go and prepare the archive for relocation. Well, it's getting late. I'll go with you. Say, where is the Manus in there? This place is terrifying at night. I will escort you. Oh, great. But, hey, none of that creepy stuff, okay? Seer, are the Anchorage really coming with us? Of course, yes. Wow, our family's growing with a boatload of creepy aunts and uncles. We did it, Boat. Yeah. The compass is gonna be good as new. Something's bothering you. Ah, oh, you know me too well, Scrapper. Just think about Kata. People looking after her, but... It's always a bit tough when I come back. When she sees what you've done for her, She'll understand. I hope so. I was thinking maybe we should go to Ten War first. Just make sure it's safe before the others join. Mm, the sooner we get the hidden path set up there, the better. You gotta stay one step ahead of the Empire, right? Yeah. Tomorrow we're gonna have a new home. Couldn't have done that without you, Boat. Thank you, brother. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, <clears throat> gonna go record a bedtime story for Kata. You have a good night. You've earned it. View, huh? Desert at night seems to stretch on forever. Hmm. And there is beauty and emptiness. Now you sound like a Jedi. I got a few things right. Not everything. Look, uh, the order's gone. It's time to leave it behind. And... I know what I want now. Took you long enough.
Let's stop for a moment. How did you and the Anchorites end up building this archive? Well, we began our work in the holy city of Nijeda, preserving whatever we could find of the Jedi tradition. Sounds like a dangerous place to collect outlawed teachings. Too dangerous. After one too many close calls with the Empire, I convinced the Narcus to relocate here. We found this abandoned monastery. We set about building everything you see. I can't believe you did all this in only a couple of years. Well, it's been hard work, but once I understood my calling, I had to answer it. That you did. It hurt when you left. Felt like you quit on us in the middle of a fight. I know. But you were trying to restore the Order. Rebuild what was lost. The fight is never your goal. Are you so sure it's yours? Best not delay any further. How's it coming? See for yourself. Cordova. You did it. Imperial forces coming in from all sides. They found us. Get your people out. I'll hold them off as long as they can. Boat. I'm really sorry about this. Oh. Son. And you don't have to do this. No! Master Cordova! He's dead! Boat has the compass. Go after him. Go! Come from. Walkers are headed for the archive.
Why both for this? We fought for that together. And you're just gonna hand it to the Empire? I'm not giving it to the Empire. You killed Master Cordova. Cal, you don't have time for this fight. Something terrible is coming for that archive. Listen to your instincts. You know I'm right. What have you done? If you want to keep your family safe, you get them out of there right now. What have you done? Ah! You're not the only one who survived. Master Junior, this is our home. Defend the archive. Come on, fight back. evacuated. 
vampire is attacking the main gate. I know a shortcut. Stand back. We have to hold the hangar until evacuations are complete. Why aren't the base defenses active? Something's wrong. I'm gonna stop you. I won't let up. Have you seen Cal? No, but BD was with the Mantis. They're evacuating those they can. Look! Walkers! They cannot breach the main gate. Missions on the second level. Marin, can you? Of course. Many have died. 
And many more will die if we do not secure the hangar. He would want us to salvage what we can of the archive. And the contact codes. We will not fall into the Empire's hands, no matter the price. They're opening the gate. Then we'll stop. Secure the hangar. Copy that. Good luck out there. The gate. Push them back. This is it. Excellent teamwork. They're here. I can hold them back. We will destroy the hangar. Then we must t No more! the assist. Any word from Cal? No, nothing. I'm sure he's fine. He probably just turned off his comm. Sir, what now? We'll escape before their main force arrives. Then we'll regroup at the rendezvous point. First, I need to get back to the archive. The hidden path contact codes. I will join you. No. Marin, I need you to stay here and defend the Mantis. BD, go with her. Keep the engines warm, Grease. It won't be long. Hey, Seer. You 
hurry back. You got this. Thank you, Grace. is okay, but we must hurry. There is still time to evacuate the remaining Anchorites. And save as much of the Archive as we can. It's been a while. I was hoping you drowned on Noor when we blew a hole in your underwater base. It is delusion to think your actions have had any consequence. The fortress stands. The Inquisitorius continues its work. And I have come for you. the remnants of the Jedi tradition.
take care of that? Yeah. They're safe. We'll find the proper place to bury him soon. The remaining Anchorites have scattered. The Empire pursues them. They may return at any moment. Seer brought enough time for BD-1 to reach us with the contact codes for the hidden path. <clears throat> but this is all that remains of her archive. You're so close to a second chance. What a raw deal? Tell me. How could Bo be a Jedi and be an Imperial spy? He is no Jedi. Why couldn't we sense him? He deceived us all. No, I still should have been able to... No, that's enough! Cal. <laughs> that's enough, okay? What Bo did, that is on him. It's not on you. It's not on anyone. It's on... Him. We all know it's a rate game, but we choose how to play. It's a shame that there's not a bounty on his head. We could have hunted him with a guilt tracker. Locator beacon. It's how Bode reached us on Kobo. Could it still be active? Well, let's find out. Nothing. Damn it. Cal. The signal. It's faint. BD, dial it in. Nova Garon system. Wait a minute. Why, why would Bo take a detour? He's got a daughter. Maybe that's where she lives. We could catch him there. This feels like a trap. Yeah, it does. So what do you think? Do we risk it? I don't see what choice we got. For Seer and Master Cordova, I will mask our approach. Okay. You two grab some seed. I got the con! <laughs> our destination. Heading to the Nova Garrett system. Picking up some Imperial comms, no surprises there. Okay. Seer, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm sure gonna miss you. I can't stop thinking about Seer. Me too. Won't be able to look at Pylooms the same way again. She fronted me the money. Never got to visit. Now, oh, she never will. I'm sorry, Grease. Yeah, yeah, me too. I would have liked to have shown her around just once, you know? You all right? It happened again. Our friends, our family have died. I know. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, but we must not let their deaths be in vain. I will protect the Mantis. Be careful. <clears throat>
So far, so good.